What's going on guys, I'm back to another video, and this is going to be trying to make a suburban house. It's been a while again. This is the 43rd installment of Suburban House. Man, it's what, is it 75 and 43 now or something ridiculous like that? I don't know. It's a lot of houses though, and that's as much as you'll get out of me. <laughs> uh, here it is, plus townhouses and mansions. And I guess the two beach houses I mean, Here it is in all of its glory or terribleness, if that's what you think. I personally don't care either way, because I know it's not the best, but it's not the worst. I like the back better than the front, actually. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, that's a new one, I think. I don't know if I've ever had that, but... Um, I think it's just the windows at the front. Just I wanted to make it kind of like a centered thing with that, and I tried, and maybe I failed. But you can play around with that as you'd like. This basement is a 26 by 20. The materials we're needing are you need a lot of them. And I guess the first ones we're gonna get are stone bricks, spruce wood planks. That's a long pause. White stained glass panes. Thinking pillar quartz blocks. I, I should know all these by head at this by by head. Pillar or sorry, tripwire hook, not pillar quartz block. We already have pillar quartz block. <laughs> Oakwood planks. Birch fence. Birch door. And we'll go with Oakwood stairs. And then you also need um Smooth quartz stairs, blocks, and slabs, and polished black stone brick stairs, blocks, and slabs. Did I? Never mind. Starting from the front left hand corner of your 26 by 20 grid call cover, maybe you want to count backward diagonal right by backward diagonal to the right by one, and you want to place a stone brick. Move it backwards with 17 stone bricks. And then right with six. Place three rows of three rows of spruce wood planks on top of that. I'm trying to kind of make what I say more clearly because whenever I say things like back down to the right by one, I say it so quick. I realized that when I was doing the Walmart tutorial the other day, and I was like, you know what? I should try and slow that down because sometimes it can be a little bit, a little bit hard to understand. But like for me, people that have probably been here a while. They probably know, like, okay, yeah, they probably have figured out what I mean at this point. But for new people, it probably would be so hard to hear me speaking pretty much gibberish <laughs> and trying to get make sense out of it. And that goes with other things, too, not just the diagonal stuff. All right, come back to the front row of the section, the bottom stone brick block. You want to count backwards by one, and going right from that block, you want to place five sideways pillar quartz blocks. Bring that up with two additional rows of sideways pillar quartz blocks. Also, I forgot to uh, take images, but that's take images. Good, good, goodly said. Yes, I am fantastic at that. So I'm just gonna wing it. Well, I'm not gonna wing it because I can remember remember most of it. You want to place a tripwire hook in the bottom center of that. You want to bring this top right hand corner of spruce wood planks, you want to bring it right by six with spruce. Then bring it down by two with spruce and then down with a stone brick. Bring this little right section back by one row. Or column, I guess. Would it be column? No, you'd have two columns and three rows, or four rows. So it's technically back by one row, yeah. Or, I don't know, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, you want to bring this stone brick back, di to, back diagonally to the right by one with stone brick. You don't want to place seven stone bricks moving right. Let me make sure it's correct. Yeah, it is. Then an oak wood plank, or whatever your inside floor material will be. Um, I'd probably use oak. And then you want to place eight 
stone bricks to the right of that. So I couldn't remember if the total row was eight or nine. They're all the same to me. <laughs> you want to moving left or right or right to left on top of that does not matter. You want to place eight spruce wood planks. Birch door and eight spruce wood planks. Going left to right or right to left on top of that does not matter. You want to place one spruce plank. Two white stained glass panes. Two spruce planks. Two white stained glass panes. One spruce plank or three. You'll see what I mean by that. Skip over the door. One spruce wood plank. So I guess that kind of is nullified there. Two white stained glass panes. So basically, I guess on this blog you just place three. And then one would be nullified because of the door. So anyways, after the door, it's in two white stained glass panes, two spruce planks, two white stained glass panes, one spruce plank. Copy that row one more time. So that's why I said the whole three thing, because it'll be three above, it'll be like, you just want to place spruce above the door. I should have just stuck with what I said. That was really stupid. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to make it a little more clear, but at the same time, something like that, like, it's... It's a thing of playing with your different ways of speaking and seeing whatever you think works best. Place three rows of spruce wood planks on top of that row. Just like that. Hey, there's that tire thingy. Whatever it was, car repair shop thing, yeah. Moving left or right or right to left on top of that does not matter. You want to place one spruce plank, two white stained glass panes, two spruce planks, three white stained glass panes, one spruce plank, three white stained glass panes, two spruce planks, two white stained glass panes, and then a spruce plank. Copy that row one more time. If you want, you could literally just go with the same pattern below and then just have it the three again, like above it, like how it is above the door, with the three spruce. I think either one really works. I actually think that one might look better though. Here, I'll try in a sec. Place your spruce wood planks on top of that. Like here, I'll show you how this, how it would look with the twos. I just feel like it should have something in the middle there. I mean. At that point, you might even want to change the roof design. Like, get rid of that front peak. Because that's the thing that I think I'm most, like, on the fence about. But yeah, I actually think it does look better with the twos. Yeah, I can actually show it when it's fully done, because I'm curious about this. I did try it, but I changed it. I'm just going to try it again, though. I mean, like, it, with the peak, it feels like there should be something in the middle. But I feel like if you got rid of that peak, it would be fine. Like, I don't know. It's up to you whether you like that or not. I personally don't have an issue with it either way. But it, I think it might look better with the, um, twos. It just feels less sensible, though. Alright, next up. You want to bring this uh, oak wood plank below the birch door or whatever it is. You want to bring it forward with two oak wood planks. Bring those oak wood planks left and right by three each. And then basically what you want to do is you want to place a row of stone bricks at the left and the right that sticks forward by one. And then you want to bring either stone brick inwards with two stone bricks and then three oak wood stairs in the middle there. Just like that. Place a row of birch fence on top of all your stone bricks. And at the front left and front right hand corners, you want to place two birch fence moving up. Just like that. I need a drink of water because my throat is kind of... Yeah, <laughs> non-existent. <laughs> ah. Alright. Now, we're going to move to the right side, and we'll do right, back, and then roof. And that's actually it. That I feel like that's been really quick. I'm quicker than the average suburban house, because they're usually like 25 to 30. 
And this one's about normal size. Anyways, you want to bring the stone brick here at the, um, front and right backwards by 14. With stone bricks. Place your spruce wood planks on top of it. And then moving front to back, you want to place two white stained glass panes. Two spruce planks. Two white stained glass panes. Oops. One spruce plank. Two white stained glass panes. One spruce plank. Yeah. Or no, sorry. Two spruce planks. Two white stained glass panes. One spruce plank. Just like that. Copy that row one more time. Sorry, I got distracted because I heard a noise. I'm trying to figure out what it was, but it stopped now. Remember, we're supposed to get cicadas in the summer. That's fun. Gotta love the cicadas. <laughs> Place three rows of spruce wood planks on top of that. I mean, like, there's always cicadas, but more cicadas than normal. don't like cicadas, they are annoying, but that's just me. Moving front to back again, you want to place two white stained glass panes, two spruce planks, two white stained glass panes, one spruce plank, two white stained glass panes, two spruce planks, two white stained glass panes, one spruce plank. Copy that row one more time. Make a noise back there. <laughs> and then you want to place your spruce wood planks on top of that. Someone's making some noise. Alright, come to the back now. And you want to connect your stone bricks all or bottom row stone brick all the way to the left. So it is a, so it is touching the garage area diagonally, which I think is four, six, nine. I want to say it's 16 stone bricks. Which is correct. Place the row of spruce wood planks on top of the row of stone bricks. And then moving left to right from my perspective, but right to left from the front of the build. So basically from the this wall, which we have filled into the, the vacant area. You want to place two white stained glass panes, two spruce planks, Two white stained glass panes, three spruce planks, two white stained glass panes, two spruce planks, two white stained glass panes, one spruce plank. Copy that row one more time. And you want to place three rows of spruce wood planks on top of that. Then moving from the left to right from my perspective and right to left in the front of the build, you want to place two white stained glass panes, two spruce planks, two white stained glass panes, three spruce planks, two white stained glass panes, Two spruce planks, two white stained glass panes, one spruce plank. Copy that row one more time. I've heard a few weird noises during this recording. And you want to place your spruce wood planks on top of that. I think someone upstairs is doing some. You want to clear your inventory of everything except for your spruce wood planks. As you want to get out. Smooth court stairs. 
smooth quartz blocks. Smooth quartz slabs. Polished black stone brick stairs. Polished black stone bricks. Polished black stone brick slabs. You want to put on top of either birch fences top the top blocks you want to place a smooth quartz stair. Connect them together at the front. And then you want to bring them backwards on either side with a smooth quartz block. Upset on smooth quartz stair and then up with a smooth quartz stair. You want to place polished black stone brick stairs or polished black stone bricks in the respective areas filling in the middle, including on the underside with the stairs. Just like that. Now for the garage. You want to place a row of smooth quartz stairs up diagonally forward and backward by one from the front and back row, and you want to extend them to the left and the right by one block each. And then on either side, you want to bring the smooth quartz stair in with a smooth quartz block, so on all corners, until, you, until it hits a wall. Upside on smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. In with a smooth quartz block. In order to upset on smooth quartz stair, up with a smooth quartz stair, and then you want to continue that pattern until you reach a point in which they connect with, I believe it's like three blocks of quartz or two blocks of quartz in between two stairs. It is two, okay. Actually, no, don't, don't go all the way up. Once you have... You want to have it so it's actually uh, six in between two stairs. The reason it's like that is because it I don't like how it looks with the two. the The roof looks too high at that point, so I you you can do it uh, all the way up if you want, but I don't. I personally do not like it all the way up. Then you want to bring all of your smooth quartz to the left with. Poly whether it's polished black stone brick variant, except for the ups and stairs this time, ignore those. Until they are pretty much, until they touch the wall and where there is no wall, you can fill it in so there is a wall. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of trace the outline. And I'll check at the front as well. Oh, I forgot that stair, <laughs> whoops. That might be important, but like you can see here, just kind of tracing the outline. And then you can just fill in the left side of this wall here in with spruce or planks just to kind of close it all off. And then any crevices on the sides of this roof, so there's a little one block gap here at the right that you're going to want to fill in, and then this big gap here at the left, you do want to fill in with spruce or planks. My throat is yet again dying, and I have to record something that well, I don't have to, but I'm gonna anyways. It's a series, a new series. You'll see it eventually. I don't want to call it a new series because it's kind of like it'll just pop in every once in a while, once in a blue moon, probably. Honestly, kind of like top ten lists. But I think once in a blue moon is generous for that. Like, it still looks a little high like that. So you can even make it shorter than that if you'd like. But that's where I left it. It just looked too steep on the wall for me. Now, what you want to do next is you want to place a row of smooth quartz stairs up diagonally from the back of the house. Up diagonally backwards by one. In the back one and wants to extend off either side by one block. Okay, I heard another weird noise, but I think it was my chinchillas. <laughs> ah, fun times. Let me make sure that I have this number down.
Okay, I I didn't actually. Oh no, yeah, never mind. Yes, I did. So you want to at the front here. You want to place a smooth quartz stair off diagonally forward by one from the two corners. You want to bring them each outward by one and inward by four. You don't want to bring them in with another smooth quartz stair, but this time you want the stair to face forward. You don't want to bring either s stair that's facing forward inward with an up down smooth quartz stair. Or sorry, I guess not forward, left and right. Up with a smooth quartz stair. Inward with an up down smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair and then inward with an up down smooth quartz stair facing forward with a slab on top of it. Oh, that block is wrong there. Just like that. Then at the left and the right, you want to bring either stair inward with or the smooth quartz block. Up and on smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. Inward of the smooth quartz block. Inward of the up and on smooth quartz stair. Up with a smooth quartz stair. Inward of the smooth quartz block. And then you want to continue that until you have, I want to say this one is either four or three. I mean, I think it's, I think it's three. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, three smooth quartz blocks in between two stairs. And you want to do this on both sides. Okay, I can tell you that noise is for a fact upstairs. Why do, I really shouldn't be caring about noises right now. It's just the usual random noises. Alright, you want to fill in the three sides here that are kind of just like the sides of the roof in order this with spruce, or in with spruce wood planks. Because no one wants to see into your attic. Had to. When, I, somebody should try and find the first time I ever said that. Or I should. I should probably do that and not waste someone else's time. Having them look for something completely pointless. Anyways, you want to connect your roofs together in, I guess, the logical way with polished black stone brick bricks so basically every single point you kind of want to connect so like behind the row of, at the front behind the row of stairs you want to place a row of polished black stone bricks and then surround that in a po row of polished black stone brick stairs that will connect forward then behind the backs of these you want to place polished black stone bricks wrap stairs around it on the next row up And then the slabs want to basically come back until they are, until they just touch, uh, oops, is that gonna, yeah, that's gonna be that way, okay. And you basically want to come back until they touch the top row of stairs at the front. Just like that, and then you also have to do the back, but I need to get another drink of water before I can do that. A little bit better. Not much better, but a little bit better. It's great, you dude. New animatronic got leaked. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Halloween. I mean, it is what it is. I don't really make the video of it, though, until it's released. Just because, I don't know. <laughs> Usually we're even late to that for decoration dudes. But, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. Once you're done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your 43rd installment of Suburban House complete. I didn't show you the inside space until now. So here it is. And, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.